Hey YouTube, this is Skydot here. Oh, and I'm back. I know I've been gone for like a super, super, super long time, like longer than what I should be. <laughs> Gui, that was the last video for a long time. I guess what's important is I'm back. I'm making videos, and honestly, I've been super busy since that video. Like because like school is like one of the not just like homework, but like school itself like the eight hours and then after that I have to go work every single day and then like when I get in from work it's like nine o'clock at night and so and I do like hard work too so it's like I'm always so 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 drained like when I get in from work because I like I mow lawns every single day um I do like so much yard work every single day and it's crazy and the person I work for is in, the, the, oh, it's okay, you know, as long as you tried, sort of boss, it's kind of like, this isn't good enough, you need to do better, and I'm just like, okay, but, you know, whatever, I've just been really busy, and now that it's summertime, I hope to have more time to make videos, um, I want to do vlogs more, like, I would really, like, since I'll be working more, I guess, but not, like, working to, like, it'll take up my entire week or day. Maybe I'll be able to, like, vlog more because I'll be making more money so I can go more places. And maybe I should do, like, a weekly road trip. That would be so rad, so dope. I mean, a weekly road trip vlog thing. That would be, for the summer, oh my gosh, that'd be so rad. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And then, so yeah, I'll definitely, I really think I'll be able to make more videos and at least have more time, you know, to work on stuff that I personally want to work on. Because, you know, that eight hours a day is out of my way. Unless my boss just wants me to work. Mm. It kind of makes me, because I don't, I never know my schedule. I'm like, I guess I work kind of like, under the table, I guess. I don't know. I work for a family member, so. And by family member, I mean my grandma. I don't know. So I never know when my work schedule is. I don't even know which days I'm working, so. She just calls me in the morning and says, Get out here and get to work. I'm just like, okay. And then. So, yeah. That's my schedule, anyway. And I don't even know, like, when I get off. And the thing is, like, I think I'm done. You know, I have everything done like I'm supposed to do. And then she just keeps on adding on to it. It's not like she, like, makes a list of tasks I need to do, like, throughout the week. It's like, it's like I do it as she tells me. And I'm just like, can you just, like, write me a list so I can just check stuff off so I know when and if I'm done? Like, because... For me, I work from like, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the morning until sundown, so. No breaks in between. So. And I get paid $2 an hour. $2.03 an hour, actually, because I divided it up, so. And I work every single day. I have a couple of video clips I took throughout the week that I kind of vlogged, I guess. So I guess I'll just insert them in this video. They're not really that cool. Well, one of them is, like, I went on, like, a little mini road trip with some friends. Um, and then, because we were going to, like, this, like, haunted, like, little village place, supposedly. And they're, like, supposed to be, like, all these little houses with, like, fire pits and, like, worship stuff. And it's all supposed to be haunted, like, demons running around and everything. But when we got there, because the person who knew where we were going that I was with, they hadn't been there in two years. So, like, since they've been there last, like, the houses and stuff, they've been, like, demolished, I guess, or something. Because we, like, we weren't in the right area, they said, but there wasn't anything there, so. It, it was kind of disappointing because it wasn't as cool or as thrilling as I thought it was. I thought I was going to like see like fire pits with like burnt Bibles in it and it's going to be like all scary and exciting, but no, that was there because I guess they got rid of them or something. I don't know. And then, so we just ended up going to this place called the totem pole. It's the world's largest totem pole. So 
Yeah. Then I think there's a graduation clip in here somewhere. So I'll just let those play. And um, thanks for watching. And subscribe for more videos. Do I hold it down? No, you just press it. And let go. Was that little shed there? Yeah. No, like, before, like, when you came here. Tyler, I do not remember. <laughs> There's a wasp. Shit, 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 shit. Roll up the window. I would... Hey, let's go see what's in there. Okay. There's, like, a bed post right here, too. That's all. Let's in get out. In the it. shed? No, like, right there. There's, like, stuff in the grass. Okay, hey, let's get out. Okay. okay. Everyone get out. Sup? <laughs> okay. We're all getting out now. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so... I'm not doing it alone. I'm not doing it alone. Look at this. Uh uh. I'm like allergic to grass. You're asking for you to like break it out. How are you allergic to grass? A lot of people are. Yeah. Just go see what's in there. Okay. You too. Oh. Pretty much. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Okay, so I'm with Kirsten. She's leading ah. the way. Okay, let's see. Look up for snakes. I like snakes. Ah! You just got me on. My god. There's literally nothing in here. I thought something touched me. Not a single thing? I mean, there's like trash. Maybe a homeless person lives in here. This wasn't as cool as you explained it to be. Maybe, Tyler. maybe we're not in the right place. Oh shit! What's over there? What is that stuff over there? Like junk? It's all junk. There's no like little houses. There's no nothing. I thought this was gonna be adventurous and scary. Well, it's not gonna be scary. It's daytime. Yeah. But you said you're. Friends came out here at daytime and there's a thing in a tree. I said that was at night. Me, Kirsten, Michaela, and we're at Totem Pole Park in the middle of nowhere. We were gonna go to this haunted place that had like all like these like houses and they were all abandoned and they had like demonic like worshiping stuff in them. But yeah, they, they weren't there. So now we're here at these like totem pole places because I guess they got rid of them or something. The world's largest totem pole will. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look, you can look way up to the sky. Whoa. Whoa. 90 feet tall? So or inches tall. Do you like my voice right now? How's that going about? <laughs> Talk. Say something. It's not echoing. I'm not going to have it. Oh, shh. Come on.